This year was the first time that World Language and ELL kind of took our two departments and collided them together for what we're calling an informal exchange. Our Spanish 2 class and our ELL level 2 class exchange within the same period. One class travels to the other. One group is practicing Spanish while the other group is practicing their English skills. Well, my college roommate was a West Chicago graduate and she had something that I didn't have which was cultural fluency. She was able to interact with very comfortably people from all over the world. I knew that had to be a special West Chicago thing. So developing some cultural fluency was the first idea. The purpose is to bring together two communities that normally would not cross paths and in doing so we create a space for multicultural education which is so unique to West Chicago because of our student population because we have students from over 20 different countries that are represented here in the school. The second was from our exchanges. We are one of the only high schools that offers four different exchange programs. We go to Costa Rica, we go to Spain, we go to France, we go to Germany. Those kids learn so much when they're in country, but obviously we can't take every Spanish one through four student to a Spanish speaking country every year. So we kind of looked at our own community and it's like, we have the awesome ability to have these authentic conversations here in our building, which not every school gets to have. So we almost took that idea of an exchange program and made it happen here. We have native speakers of Spanish down the hall. Why would we not use those resources to be able to communicate, ask each other questions about things we're learning in class, and really create that environment where they're going to make mistakes, but that's totally fine. They're going to ask questions about things that they're learning in class, and then they can practice their Spanish with native speakers. That's what this is supposed to do. Give them an opportunity to really communicate. Low stakes, it's high energy, high joy. Nobody's getting graded, nothing's being recorded. Just give them an opportunity to communicate with each other. So I think our kids are always really nervous. Like that's one thing that every level of language, whether it's a German class, French class, a Spanish class, an English class, our kids are so afraid to make mistakes. So when we can give them the opportunity without the teacher eyes on them and they can just speak freely with kids their age, I think that's the ideal goal. We shouldn't be practicing English with other people who are learning English. We should be practicing English with native speakers of English and vice versa in the Spanish world. Putting both of our groups where they're the quote unquote strong speaker, right? I'm the strong speaker of Spanish because I speak it at home or I'm the strong speaker of English because I speak it at home. These kids are feeling the way that the other feels. Both groups really get to understand where the other person is at with language learning and it creates just this environment of understanding and empathy and support. The change that I have seen in my students after these exchanges is increased confidence in their speaking abilities. They also can't believe how well the Spanish students speak Spanish in our school so an appreciation and some awe for the language skills that are here in our school. Some things that they've said to us as teachers after is oh my gosh they thought I was really good at Spanish or oh my gosh I made a mistake and they still understood me. Seeing that you don't need to be perfect to make conversation happen, actually feeling like, oh my gosh, I'm in Spanish too and I do know how to speak in Spanish because they just understood me. And I think it happens for both groups. That's been such a positive outcome. I think in the future, if we can incorporate this with more classes and more levels, that's ideal. Down the road, if we can find a way to incorporate a lot of our ELL levels with a lot of our Spanish levels and really make more opportunities for both groups to speak the language that they're learning, ideally in the future, I think to allow for these authentic experiences will only better our kids.